Getting lumber out of the forest can be a real hustle. Sometimes we want much larger bits and pieces than a person can carry or even cut down. There's also the little problem of doing it efficiently, like speedily removing the branches. But such problems have been mitigated by the use of technology and state-of-the-art machines. Different types of machines are designed with such kinds of strain in mind, from giant trees to small ones. Stay with us as we unlock the amazing tree cutting machines and the accompanying processes that you need to see. Remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can continue enjoying more of our great content. Like and share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's get it on! Number 1. Felling a big tree using chainsaw To start us off, we'll see how to cut down a tree safely also known as felling a tree using a chainsaw. Cutting down a big tree requires careful planning and a high degree of skill. It's potentially a dangerous job, so it's better left to train professionals. With the use of machines, more specifically chainsaws, the tree cutting process can be made easy. As the video demonstrates, when you're using a chainsaw to fell a tree, it's crucial to plan carefully. First and foremost, verify your saw is fresh oil, along with a sharpened or new chain. Additionally, you'll want to invest in personal protection equipment, including gloves, ear, and eye protection. Next, plan out the tree's fall. Keep in mind most trees have natural direction of fall, which is affected by their lean, size, and shape. Calculations and careful assessments are made before any cutting. Pick a side of the big tree, and using the chainsaw, make a triangular wood cutting. This would determine which side the log falls. Continue with the tree cutting gently until the log is rounded. If the stem is too thick and the sawmill can't make enough inroads, you can use metallic logs to keep the cuts open. Do that continuously until the chainsaw cut rounds the big tree. When correctly done, the tree cutting process will end smoothly, carry your machines, and head back home happy. Wood harvesting is one of the most lucrative jobs worldwide. With the use of suitable machines, as seen in the video, there shouldn't be a reason for anyone not to join the fray. Number 2. Processing Logs Using a Head Saw Next up, we look at the process of turning a log into planks or cants using a head saw. Processing the log starts by placing it in the wood processing line, a rail-like path connected to the machine. The cutting head comes with a spacer and an adapter bushing so it can fit a sizable arbor. The grove on the cutting profile should be facing away from you as you look at the table saw from the position you use it. The machine is marked to tell you the rotation of the cutter head and the profile blade's orientation. Just as different metal saw blades are made from other woodworking jobs, head saws come in many formulations for the material being cut. Simply place the log and the machine will commence the wood processing, ensuring you get the desired product in the end. This wood chipper amazingly cuts the log in equal parts, making it one of the best woodcutting machines ever developed. Today, head saws are mainly used for cutting logs 16 to 72 inches in diameter, depending on the type of band mill the saws are mounted on. Depending on the log diameter, head saws can cut a log at speeds ranging from 1 to 300 feet per minute. Generally, log carriage speeds are adjustable for optimal performance. This machine is best suited for those who fancy DIY. It's easy to operate and produces exactly what one needs. Number 3. The Log Splitting Machine Next up, we take a look at this fantastic machine that assists with log splitting. You've gone to the forest, fell your tree, and dragged your log home. Then what next? The simplest hydraulic device that you find in everyday use today is the log splitter. It contains all the essential components of a hydraulic machine. An engine, usually a small four-stroke gasoline engine, provides the power for the system. The engine is attached to the hydraulic oil pump. Woodcutting for fireplaces can be a long and exhausting process. Not only does it require strength, but it also takes up a lot of time. A log splitter is just one of the tools to help with that. It reduces the time spent outside trying to cut up the logs and drastically reduces the amount of physical labor required. To operate a log splitter, all you have to do is ensure the log is in a designated spot on the machine. That's made possible by using the hydraulics that will help pull the already cut tree. A log splitter starts when you turn on the engine which pushes the fluid stored in the tank to go through the pump. The machine has a filter that ensures that the log splitter works smoothly and prevents any debris, dirt, and other particles from interfering with the wood splitter's function. It works seamlessly and quickly dismantles the log into small parts. The log splitter is a valuable investment for anyone who might have trouble cutting wood or suffers from shoulder and back pain while cutting wood with their hands. 
The solution, therefore, lies with this fantastic machine. Number 4. Tree Shear Machine The following tree harvesting process has to be the best thanks to the massive use of technology. The combination of long-reach excavators and tree shears works well for several reasons. Long-reach machines can reach higher branches and big trees and remove them safer, faster, and more cost-effectively than other methods. The tree cutting process hasn't been this exciting, thanks to this versatile tool. The tree harvester comprises three main parts, the linkage, the collector, and the delimmer. The linkage brings versatility and speed to the shear's usability, while the collector increases the shear efficiency significantly. Collectors work fully automatic with the shear's open-close motion to the point where the trees are dropped. When the shear closes, the collector arms to the other side of the tree. This machine is made up of multi-saws like those you would find in a timber factory. Delimming gives the last touch to the tree felling process. Planners and operators of shears should ensure the attachment and the machine are not overloaded and used safely. Early shears had little flexibility for cutting anything other than near vertical trees. However, many shears are now fitted with a tilt mechanism or even full 360 degree rotation to allow the operator to cut at any angle, even horizontal branches. No more wasting countless hours and loads of energy felling trees. With this machine, a two-day job can now be done in less than an hour. How impressive! Number 5. Industrial Log Processing Last but not least, we look at industrial log processing, from the point where the raw wood is processed to ready-to-use parts. Wood processing includes various branches such as timber processing, sawmills, timber merchants, carpenters, roundwood producers, lumber yards, and even construction companies. Logs go through the initial woodworking process, for instance, peeling and debarking. Next, wood is cut from sawmills and being processed into valuable products, from semi-final products to consumer products. Every step in the process adds value to the woodworking chain. The industrial process of transforming the log into wood involves stages like peeling, rounding, profiling, chamfering and pointing, and finally, sawing. With the use of the latest technology and state-of-the-art machines, the logs move from one step to another on their way to the final stage. From rough-looking forest trees, the final product is something we all see in our doors, windows, cabins, and furniture, among others. The final stage usually involves the collection and management of timber residue. Timber residue material is further processed in, among others, wood fiber products, oriented strand board, biomass, and firewood. Getting the final product after falling a tree is not something that bare hands can do. That is why such machines must always be appreciated. Number 6. Tree Stump Crusher Finally, we close today's watch by looking at how to finish off a tree stump. This may be needed, especially during or before the construction of houses, schools, airports, or even roads. Tree stump removal machines can be used by tree service businesses, landscape companies, or farm operators. Stump grinders will cut into tree stumps using wheels with unique carbide cutting tips. Stump grinders provide several benefits, such as preventing an unwanted tree from growing back. It also improves the landscape's appearance. It frees up space in your yard for landscaping, patios, and outdoor furniture that would otherwise be unusable with a stump in the way. The machine is different from those used in cutting trees. It's faster and more precise. Before you start the process, first inspect the area to ensure it's safe for work. The operator should note the property, twigs, rocks, and debris that need to be cleared from the area first before they start working. And since the grinders can be extremely dangerous, safety gear must be worn at all times while the stump grinding. Also, to improve visibility, the operator may trim the grass and remove any plants around the stump. Move the wheel cutter side to side and back and forth to cut into the wood. Reposition the wheel to grind through the next section of the stump until it's all down. And what a way to finish up the tree harvesting process. From cutting down a tree to removing the tree stump, there is no denying machines do more than we initially thought, and it's improving the quality of life and other things. Thank you for watching our video on chainsaw operators and tree cutting machines that we have to see. From what we have observed, it's safe to conclude that it would be impossible to accomplish specific tasks without using machines and other tools. If you've been wondering how to solve your forest woes, there you go. You now know exactly what you need and when. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Like and share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. 
Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.